So I've heard about Land App from um, literature and some articles that I read, starting with Yukon's article, and um, decided that there must, there must be a better way to, to treat period disease other than resective surgeries. I, I did investigate the other lasers as well, and, and, and if you want to do a phrenectomy, you can buy any laser you want, but if you're talking about period disease, as of right now, the NDAG laser is really the way to go from what I've seen. But the benefit of this laser is that it has more research backing behind it, and the other ones really don't. So uh, if you want to go the route of minimally invasive treatment of perio disease and you want to have the laser for uh, treating perioplantitis and as well and uh, the other uses that it's for, I mean, you really are not going to get the result you want with the other tech, with the other lasers because the other lasers really don't have the, the backing that this one has. Plus, this also includes training as well. So it, it's a whole set of training. It's a whole set of experts that, are, that have been doing this for many, many years and have been perfecting this technique. I would say the results are pretty astounding for a lot of patients. Uh, it's really changed their lives and the way they, they view uh, a periodontist treating them. Initially, they were really afraid, really timid, um, unwilling to, to undergo any kind of invasive treatment. And when I told them about this option, they, they all got really excited about it. And the results, even more so, have really changed the way they, they feel about themselves and, and, and their mouth and how they take care of their own hygiene. So it's, it's been a really game changer for me, for sure. After the surgery, I would say that most of them have very little discomfort, very little complaints. It's more of a surprise. It's like, oh, that's it, we're done. But usually that's, and in all honesty, I can't think of many cases of of complaints, post-operative discomfort, or even time in the chair of, of being a problem or a complaint for anybody. So this woman was in her 80s. She, she sticks in my head because they wanted to take out all her teeth and they wanted to do all on four on the top and all on four on the bottom. At this time, I had LANAP, and she really didn't want to go through another surgical procedure. We did LANAP with her probably at least a year. It's been right now, and things have just been fantastic with her. And her, her maintenance. She's on three month three calls. We see her, and she's really. Um, really pleased. There's a lot of referrals of patients and that they've done them years, implants years ago and they come into the office with um, complaints and very few of them want to start from scratch. So very few of them want to have the, the implants taken out or very few of them are interested in having the sites grafted. The, the lab pip technique is just like really simple and I, the result is pretty amazing as well too. They come back and the inflammation's gone. They can keep their implants which they spent a lot of money on in the past and uh, again, it's another it's another really quick fix that that um, so far has been sustaining for them. So the advice is that I, the advice I gave to residents when I taught for two years, uh, and the advice I give them now when they still when they contact me is that they should really look into Lana. It's a, a, definitely another tool in the fight against peril disease. That that's very easy to learn. Uh, it provides an, an immense benefit to patients. Very little postoperative discomfort. Very little chance of side effects. It always, it always makes the situation better. And so it really should be something that should be taught in, in, in most universities now, I believe, because it's, it, it's something that really will be part of the standard of care. And it's all about the patients in the end, and it's about, making, it's about solving problems for them. And it definitely adds another tool in the arsenal against perial disease, having this, this uh, technology. Most patients I talk to in my area want to keep their teeth. And so Wherever they go, they're, they're always being pushed with dental implants. And again, I do place implants, implants, there's nothing wrong with dental implants. Um, but they're being overused, that's just a fact. I mean, it's a, it's a fact of, uh, of, of, of the business of the dentistry right now. And so many patients who want to keep their teeth can keep, it, can keep them with this technique. This technique makes it a lot easier for them to be able to, to save teeth that previously we thought were unsavable.